Hello everybody and welcome back to more Fallout 4, Our Harbor. Oh, I forgot. Sean. Uh, not talking to you. Good. I'm just here to You're talk here. to you. With the Institute the out of the picture, we're secretly securing key locations to speed up transporting synths out of the Commonwealth. We gotta take this slow and steady, so once they're out, they're safe for the rest of their lives. Uh... Right, I didn't talk to her after the end of the game, so... Oh, okay. Do they have to leave the Commonwealth? We highly encourage it. In the Capital Wasteland or elsewhere, the chance of discovery is minimal. And even if they're identified as a synth, most people wouldn't care. But ultimately, the choice is theirs. Pam or Carrington undoubtedly could use your help. No rest for the wicked. Desdemona. Everyone has to stay focused. An armed bigot can kill a synth just as dead as a closer can. Okay. All of this, this victory, we absolutely couldn't have done it without you. Desdemona. The end is in sight. Okay. Well. Apparently... Oh, you can fast travel to the Mechanist Lair. Okay. Uh, <laughs> anyways, apparently that's not an option to tell the railroad. But you guys saw it, right? On the left-hand corner it said tell the railroad about the thing. I... Okay. Unless I was supposed to talk to, like, someone else other than Desdemona, although I don't know why it would be anyone other than Desdemona. <sighs> oh my god, there's two cats. Alright, well, Nick, let's go. Let's travel to Far Harbor. Can I move? Oh my god, I can. Uh... Wow. I didn't expect this to actually move. This is cool. Although if you jump, it scoots you backwards. <laughs> oh, and then it just becomes a boring loading screen. Womp womp. I mean, I expected a loading screen at some point, but didn't expect the death scene. I love riding boats in real life and in games. Boat riding in games is pretty fun too, but I don't like the big boats where I have to stay inside, like the big ferries, because I get motion sickness. But I like the little speed boats taking them out on the water and going zoom 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 what the heck got visitors mainlanders ain't nothing but trouble put the damn gun down where did you come from valentine if this wasn't fallout 4 that like, I would say that looks like, I don't know, a weird spirit light thing. I don't know. Are you lost? This is Far Harbor. We, uh, we don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a... A difficult time. Uh, but Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? Well... A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. Well, at least we know she made it this far. Damn it. Uh, Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! 
You, help us defend the town, and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall, near the main gate. The hall never lets us down. Now follow me! Be careful on the hall, okay. stranger. Don't fall off! If you do, we might not be able to rescue you in time. Jeez, what's Man with the, the weird hall. lights? Something's and... out there. You sure you saw something? This ain't a drill! What the hell? What the hell? I killed everyone! <laughs> That's what I said. The gate! Open the gate! I've got wounded out here! Mariner? There's no time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Uh. Gulpers! Oh, God! Defend yourselves! Radio! What? Fire! the hell? Huh? What is that? Oh, jeez. You guys are kidding around. Get up! Okay. Get up! to take a fast turn. What the hell are these things? see them very well because of the fog. Okay. I'm assuming I don't want to leave the really want this top here. I don't see it. Where? Oh. See that one? Good? It's over. No. Eyes on the fall. Something's All right. coming. Apparently not good. Oh. Angler. What the hell are those? Are they spitting something at me? Nick, why are you down there? Why do you people have these things? <laughs> what? The hole took a battery. I'm not sure. What? Oh, oh, what, uh, what just happened? Hello, Avery. And now you see what we're up against. The fog and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. But for your help when we needed it, you deserve this. Thanks. What's the fog? Where to begin? The fog's radioactive, right? But yeah. there are pockets of it, the deep fog, that are hard fallout. And as deadly as that is, that's only part of the problem. Things live in the fog, thrive. You think what attacked the harbor's bad? Oh, there's far worse further inland. You've lost the whole island? Oh, the fog's been here forever. There are good years when it recedes, and the island's almost normal. Then there are times when it spreads all over. And people have to cling to any patch of land free of the fog. For the past, oh, eight years or so, it's been getting as bad as it's ever been. Now, Far Harbor's one of the only places left that's safe. Sounds fun. If you manage to survive despite all that, you must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. Children of the Adam? The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the rat eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden a stranger with all this nonsense. What's the deal with the children of Adam? They're religious folk. Worship the power of Adam. Which is uh, radiation, I guess. If you want details, you'd have to find and ask them. We used to have a peace with them until a certain hothead menace named Alan Lee... Now that's enough! That preacher came into the harbor saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. That it was Adam's goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. 
And that the Atom would wipe this whole place clean of us. If it were up to me, you'd hang for what you did to that preacher, Alan. What did he do to the preacher? Alan pulled a gun on him. He claims the preacher reached for his. We don't have police, or really any law. Just custom and popular sentiment. And after everything the preacher said, it was abundantly clear doing anything to Alan would have made matters worse. Have the children made the fog worse? Absolutely not. There's not one bit of evidence. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. The fog's gotten more lethal year over year. And now the fog's covering the whole island. But only after the children came. You know as well as I do that's happened before. Sure, people have theories the children are involved, but no one, and I mean no one, has proof. Correlation does not equal causation. Sounds like you should deal with the children of Adam. Permanently. I'm not sure that's going to make our job here easier. The mainlander sees was... the sense in all this. I will do everything in my power to keep the peace here. So go, Alan. Sorry for all this. I was gonna yeah. just ask You're here about for Kasumi, that, right? But... She headed inland to the Synth Refuge. Yep. Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But, uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. What's Old Longfellow's story? He's the best hunter on the island. Fearless. <laughs> Some say crazy. If someone needs to get to Acadia, he's the only one that'll do it. But... Uh, People around here are known for being stubborn, willful, and other less flattering things. But Longfellow's got a reputation even among us. What can you tell me about Acadia? Ask Longfellow. He's the only one that's been there. Thanks for the info. <sighs> Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away. People like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. Huh. The Mainlander. Great. You helped us on Mariner's Hull, but we didn't need it. This is our island. Our fight. Not yours. I am the one who saved all your asses. So yeah. We've defended this damn dock from crabs and worse for months without you. Yeah, you helped. But we've paid our dues in blood and bullets. The day we rely on outsiders for our security is the day we're as good as dead. I still put myself in harm's way for you. Some gratitude would be nice. We've had some real pieces of work come through here. But you've been... Uh... All right so far. Here, for your... Uh help but there's wow. one exception that is if you meant what you said to avery about the children of adam anyone willing to put those bastards down i'll sell my top shelf ordinance too with a smile uh i've never really been a fan of them they're a bit insane but if what you say is true then i would gladly kill them but i would need proof of that First, no? What's your problem with the children of Adam? We should have gunned those bastards down the moment they set foot here. Instead, we let them in. And all in secret from wherever they're holed up, they've been feeding the fog. They're getting it stronger. Strong enough to push us all out of our homesteads. Further and further until it's a wonder we're not all drowned in the ocean. Do you have any proof that they've fed the fog? Proof? We wait for that, and we might as well pull the trigger ourselves. Look, in my daddy's time, the fog was a nuisance. Something you avoided. Now, every day it gets stronger. It's like the fire's a hell out there. Because of the children. I'm not sure. Great. Mm -hmm. Guns, ammo, and souvenirs. Get them while they're in stock. I meant maybe as in maybe I'll help you with the children, but it seemed maybe as in maybe harder. Uh, you know what, whatever, it's fine. So, uh, 
interesting setup you guys have here. Mariner. The hull took a battering. To be sure. But she wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. They call me the Mariner. Shipwright. Handyman. And the only one keeping the harbor afloat. Well, beside Captain Avery. Why doesn't anyone help you? Each harborman is the captain of his own ship. Worked fine for generations on the homesteads. Your land, your rules. But when the island pushed them onto my dock, one by one, the ungrateful bastards expect me to look after my land, even though they're squatting on it like wretches. If it's that bad, why put up with it? I couldn't very well toss them back into the fog, could I? Bad luck, that. Surely their spirits would haunt me to my grave. And that's a fact. The town's lucky you're here. You blowing smoke up my sails. Huh. <laughs> but... There is... I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. Specialized tools. And they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. All right. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Now get. You want to tell me what kind of tools? Because uh, that's kind of an important uh, bit of guns, information. Guns, guns, and more guns. Hmm. You need it. The bait shop's got it. The hole tender? needs mending. You know, it just don't build itself. <clears throat> I need Welcome to the bait shop. Steel, nails, if you need any odds and ends, I'm your man. To cobble together that stupid wall. You What's want your story? Just a guy trying to make a few caps. caps. Speaking of which, buying anything? Let's deal. Here's what I got. What do you have? Nothing interesting. I got a whole lot of random ass shit though. My goodness. I've never seen a, a merchant with so many weird things. Ceramic, concrete, oh man. That's not bad actually. My concrete levels are pretty low. And wood. Uh, Vim? A bottle of Vim. <laughs> Alright, I have a crap ton of stuff that I can sell you. Including a ton of miniguns, apparently. Baseball bat, laser rifles. I just haven't really cleared my inventory in a while. I tried to, but everybody ran out of money before I ran out of stuff in my inventory, which is pretty bad. Um, this one was pretty good. I'm not sure if I want to sell that. Mm, you can have that. Oh yeah, the many fat men that I have in my inventory. Just carrying fat men around. And so many things. Oh. Your... Oh, that's not... Wait, what? I meant to get back some of my... There we go. That's what I was looking for. There we go. That and the mainlander. The mainlander? <laughs> What kept us safe was harbormen and the firepower. You another vulture circling over Andre's body? Tell you what. He ain't dead. Apply that big old brain of yours Wait. to dealing with the real no. threat. No. 
It's a mainlander. Well, welcome to my little clinic. If you need doctoring, speak up. I wish I had time for some proper conversation, but my work's never done. Who's Andre? Poor Andre is my patient over there. He spent too long a spell in the fog. You may think you know your mainland radiation poisoning, but we got our own special brand here. I know a few things about medicine. Can I try to help them? You say, what? You? Help? Well, poor Andre's got it bad. Good as dead. Well, I suppose there's no harm letting you have a poke. But I'll be watching you. Let's take a look. Mm. Mm. Oh. Do I have that? Oh. I can use the mysterious serum. That did have crazy radiation healing abilities, but um is that wise to use the serum willy nilly on people like that? Well You know what, why the heck not? I'm not using it anywhere else. Well, I'll be. But, uh... I think you may have done it. I'll keep looking after Andre. But I think thanks to you, he's got a fighting chance. Teddy. Need some doctoring? I need some help. Well, speak up. Uh, my, uh... Yeah, Too much radiation. Everyone on the island. Mm -hmm. Tick, tick. All done. Any other complaints? I'm good. Actually, it's nothing. Take care. Andre. Please. No. I thought he was better. Andre, get up. You're better. Food in front, dock in back. The bait shop. <laughs> That's catchy. I don't have time. You're that mainlander who just got here. Better watch yourself, because this island sees and hears everything you do. I should know. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. It's a tale of greed, blood, and vengeance. What family are you talking about? I was just about to explain. Can you talk My faster? family, the Daltons was the pride of Far Harbor for generations, even back before the war. It was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy, took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since, killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah! But now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong. Someone capable. With the stranger's help, the last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. Wait. Are you saying that I'm the mysterious stranger who's going to help you avenge your family? Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you, because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That would be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble. He thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls on him. Island's a sneaky bastard when it wants to be. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there, waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn shame that. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. 
It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to Petey. Okay. You sound just a little bit Is it ordinance psycho? like that? No wonder you wiped out those crabs. My legs got nothing on the fog. Go say I didn't warn you. A lot of people only got the clothes on their back here. I Jesus. lost my home when the fog rolled in. You do not look good, lady. The children of Adam are dangerous. Don't trust them. Don't talk hey, to pal. Bertha. She's you crazy. Here for some reason. No one talks to my brother, all right? <clears throat> Captain Avery's all right, I guess. Hey, a Bertha. I don't have time for mainlanders. Are you a kid or are you just super short? The fact that it says small Bertha makes me think. Mm. Short lady? Hi there. Mm. Okay. Let's go talk to the old dude. I don't, I don't remember his. You want a bite? Either Mitch or I can take your order. Old Longfellow. What you reading there? Hell yeah. Unlocked POI map markers across the island. So Battles are won with fists. Wars with wits. Look at all the locations now. This is very nice music you guys have here. But, um, yeah, we're gonna. Ooh. That looks tasty. Anyways, we're gonna talk to Longfellow next time. So I'll see you guys then.